Hello, welcome to my series of tutorials of how to approach and practice Chopin's etudes. Today's episode is about etude in E flat minor, opus 10 number 6. First of all, I invite you to watch the video with the very thorough analysis of this etude, which I made some time ago. Uh, there you can find the very detailed analysis of the structure and the emotions and uh, everything. And also the discussion about the original Chopin's tempo. Because here we have um, a very important decision to make. Um, we have to decide in which tempo we want to play this etude because the difficulties will be different. The difficulties depends on the tempo. The original Chopin's tempo makes this etude extremely hard and I personally think it, it, this was the goal of Chopin. That's why he wrote with his own hand the metronome marking for this etude. Unfortunately, I think many great pianists, authorities and the fantastic pianists, pianists that I also admire, uh, decided to play this etude twice as slow or even three times as slow, slower, sorry, three times slower than the original, or two times slower than the original, then this etude starts to be very boring, in my opinion, and dark, and just, for me, not interesting at all. So I chose to play it in Chopin's tempo, but of course, con molta espressione. But what difficulties we have here? The difficulties I also analyzed in another video, which I invite you to find, or I can, I think at the end of this video, I will just uh, give you the link so that you can click in the link and you can, you can just uh, watch immediately after this video, my video with the analysis. The main difficulty of this etude is, the, the main, the difficulty number one, is to um, hold one note and play at the same time, with the same hand, other melody. Melody or accompaniment, whatever we call it. So, this is something that for the beginner pianist is of course not easy. And we can have some preparatory exercises for that. We can start from a basic, let's, let's just hold bass C and then let's play the next fingers always keeping this note, right? Or the chromatic. Or like this, right? Always keeping the bass. Um, this is the first part of the tune, then we have it in the right hand, so as well. You keep the fifth finger here, and it... or you can play the whole scale until the C, but always keeping the note C. Or the chromatic scale. Sorry. Always keeping the note C. And um, then, when it comes to the etude, of course, hands separately. Extremely legato, always legato. problem of the left hand, but the left hand should be very, very quiet, because the melody full of pain and very, very e expressive melody is in the right hand, and this is the... the problem. This is the first phrase, right? So, 
If you play it slower, then it's impossible to make a legato melody because and this note died already, right? So, so we have we have a problem. So I recommend to play this. But you definitely recommend to play this at you faster. Let's get rid of this uh, tradition. Let's destroy this tradition. Let's make a new tradition of playing this etude. After 100 years, I think it's high time to change it, to show the world the true original Chopin's tempo with a beautiful melody. And this is only the accompaniment, my friend. This is not a melody. This is Chopin, right? I hope you agree with me. Second phrase. Here starts the problem for the right hand. It's much more difficult than for the left hand. How to achieve two different touches, two different way of touch the keyboard in one hand only? We definitely need, we, of course you can find many advices, uh, especially in Alfred Cocteau edition of Etudes, Chopin Etudes, I strongly recommend this because he he gives preparatory exercises and stuff like this. Mm, but from my personal experience, um, of course, we need to have two different touches. This, this should be very deep. And this. Very on the surface. So, the way of practicing. I recommend to first play the melody note deep and with a long beautiful sound and then while listening all the time to this note try to play very soft and then well I, I think I can I can show you from close up a little so that you can see okay yes very good very good very good Perfect. So this we play first, and this extremely soft, and then the next, and still listening to these notes, and then the next. Let's continue because it's a beautiful moment. First we play this very deep and long and then the rest on the surface, only half of the keyboard. So then the next note, this. here only this as if two hands are playing this is the right hand oh, this is another exercise you can do you can play the right hand the top voice and the left hand the, the, the bottom voice so for example here should always has the continuation we we must not play this too loud right so this exercise 
slow parts, part by part, one, two bars, first in a slow tempo, then in a faster tempo, it should help. But to achieve these two, um, two different kind of touches, it, it is very useful to not to play together, uh, but to play the first touch first, to keep the notes, and then they play very, very, very soft the second. And always remember of being relaxed and, uh, and, and uh, just have a completely like that all the hand. The same goes for the beginning, when we have... This is the most important note. And it should not be... Uh, ...covered by the left hand. So this louder... This... Always much deeper, you know, deeper... Uh, imagine that this is not like a table, but uh, there is a hole and you want to go deeper. And I think that's the most important way of practicing. Um, of course, um, there is also a question of shaping phrases. Um, finding these phrases and shaping them, uh, for this you should practice only the melody, without anything else. Uh, learn it by heart so that you don't have to read the score because we have six flats it's extremely hard to read um, so it's better to learn two bars by heart and just practice those two bars without looking at the score uh, fixing all the problems and then the next two bars the next two bars and then connect them and slowly make the whole attitude ready thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope it was helpful.